as you guys know, allegedly Shy found out that her friend scammed her. I said I was going to talk about it in today's video, so you're going to get your conclusion with that. Anyway, she ended up setting a live chat with this guy through, through an Instagram and we love Chi, and she was able to talk to him and stuff like that, and he was acting very weird. <laughs> hey, scammer! Hello! Uh, I bought a do-rag company. He end up showing these receipts. There's some messages between him and someone else. Someone going, Fendi, answer now. We have a problem. He goes, what happened? Oh, I'm OTP with Sha, trying to distract her. I'm going to tell you after. Okay, I want to know. Oh, my God. You up? Yeah. Okay, we got car numbers and make 5,000. The thing we was gonna do with Mr. Flexa or Shy Mercy, Shy Merch, promos, hair, it's Christmas, Thanksgiving, every day our birthday. We can sell lashes, lashes, ho, cut shy lashes. Then he showed a picture with some ugly teeth, <laughs> some wigs, censoring someone's face, and some more wigs. I responded to that post saying, Weak receipts. Shut the F up. Apologize to everybody you stole from. Refund all the money back and take you A to jail. Brokery. Fendi then goes live and tries to prove his innocence. Basically, a friend was, was saying to somebody else, Oh, why are you hanging around China when you had her password to her Snapchat? And that person was saying that they was with China to uh, get caught for a YouTube and I ain't got to do it no more Snapchat. I'm sorry, I'm not no mother hacking type of bitch. Cause baby, if I was hacking you, baby, that whole Snapchat, that whole Instagram would have been mine. That, that whole Instagram would have been mine. That already proves the point that you are a messy, backstabbing, snaky person. If you're Shy's friend and you know someone's trying to distract her to hack into her Snapchat, wouldn't you show her? So you already dig yourself into a hole and now you look like an idiot. You exposed yourself. You show you're not a real good friend. When Shy was being nice to you, having your back allegedly. You stab her in the back and you let someone hack her Snapchat for who knows how long because this has been going on for such a long time and you don't tell her anything. So maybe this guy didn't hack but he was guilty by association, you feel me? But anyway guys, after seeing all these receipts, do you think Fendi is involved? Or do you think he's not involved? Let me know in the comment section below. God damn you loud. Hey guys, let's move on to the next drama, Freddo. I have to keep you guys updated on this situation. It's very old. I know, I'm like six days late. Okay, so as you guys know, Jasmine and Freddo have recently broken up. A lot of people thought they were back together all because Freddo said happy birthday. I was really confused with that. I was like, how does that mean they're going up? But it turns out that they're not together because Jasmine ended up posting on Instagram saying, Did Fredo cheat? Yes. Did Alexis Hogan know? Yes. They both up and deserve each other. Don't believe his lies. He's living two different lives. Still is. Girl, get your man. I don't love him anymore. Period. I'm done. Y'all want the truth? You got it. She posted a message that Fredo said to her saying on August the 19th. I feel that I lost the love of my life and miss you with all my heart. And I hate to see our family like this because I know our family can do so much better. You made your choice that led us here. And really has this hoe around my daughter? She showed pictures of Alexis and Fredo in some art gallery. She was like, Proof, don't come for me. I have receipts on receipts. What the f does that date say, bruh? That f says August 11th, dog. It says August 11th. I'm gonna show y'all my screenshot of my camera roll. What does it say? Saturday. She said, y'all, he's reaching. Y'all dumb as F if you believe this sh out of his mouth. Just because it was posted different times, it doesn't mean shit. They together. He just posted him with her on his story but covering her face, dumb hoes. 
I've done nothing to deserve any of this. I stopped YouTube because he was being disrespectful with hoes on and off camera. Only reason, no one should be butt naked in my yard, period. Then she showed proof that you can change the dates on Instagram from what it looks like, or the dates of the photos on your iPhone. She's responding to Fredo because Fredo was live saying that that was not true. Allegedly, he basically claimed that he didn't bring the daughter around her and they were at the museum at different times. I was tired of being silent and letting everyone else speak on the situation but me. My life has been completely ruined. My heart is broken, my soul is damaged. I don't wanna continue being silent and letting y'all think this is my fault when I know it's not. I'm not a gold digger or a cloud chaser. All I ever wanted was my family together. If I was a cold gold digger, I would have had all the materialistic BS I could imagine. Instead, I'm trying to raise my daughter. I'm done speaking on this. He cheated, she don't give a F. I'm focused on my daughter and future. Have a blessed day! Now, Voice of the People proved that it was different times because on 11th the August, she screen recorded Fredo on Instagram at that museum, which proves that he didn't change the date on that photo, which shows that maybe he wasn't around her when he had his daughter with him. Obviously, Jasmine is standing up for herself and responding to the negative backlash that she has received due to what she had posted on Twitter and due to the sister. So if I was her, I would just relax, meditate, maybe call me. I could make a little cute documentary for you or something. But if she takes her emotions out of it, she can make a calm and collective video that makes logical sense and just explain her side of the situation and maybe even apologize for putting it out there and just move on. You know what I mean? And I don't know, maybe they can come together, tell everyone to stop giving hay. I don't know, but they can rectify it. It kind of sucks when you have a public eye relationship because it's like there's a respectful way of handling your split breakup which this YouTube couple has and then there's a messy way you know what I mean you want to try to keep it as clean as possible when you're gonna explain to others why you're splitting up and all that jazz Let's move on to the Chris Sells drama. Chris Sells was on IG Live recently and said Make sure to subscribe to Martin Lewis's channel with the bell so you don't miss out on any of the drama. <laughs> Smash that like button. That the Parker's replacement, Savvy, was not happy with him. Do I like Savvy? Yeah, I like Savvy. That was my little baby, but she mad at me right now. I told me not to talk to her no more. So I ain't talking to her. I don't know I'm about to. I don't do all that. It's meant to be me and you. Give you crabs and give you gonorrhea. Now you're gonna go to a clinic. What did that doctor say? You got an STD? Savvy then posted on her Instagram showing why she was upset with Chris. What happened to her? We wasn't together. I told you that. I was serious. I was. It's helping her get followers. She paid me to do that. Why did you unfollow her? Because my job is done, lol. You mentioned her whole name in the song. It was for publicity, baby. So it looks like Chris Sells has not changed his spots. Remember when Chris Sells was trying to get with this woman and then he was telling her that him and Queen were only doing videos for money and they weren't together and all that jazz. Kind of like the same situation with Savvy. He's lying to other girls saying, oh, it's just business. We're not together. La -di -a -di -a. But really, they are together because he just, he's a hoe, you know what I mean? He needs a new kind of every day. Savvy ends up responding to that post saying, a big effing cat. He wasn't helping me do ish. He posted me because he liked me and wanted to on his own. Made two songs about me because he wanted to. And he got left back single for entertaining my makeup artist in her DM and trying to lie to me about it. Some you want to make this the Wendy show. 
B, let's get it weird, A, goofy. I'm telling you, y'all, men can be dirty as hell, backstabbing, and Chris is definitely that type. Any girl who ends up in a relationship with Chris Sells is a complete shit. Like, by now, you... You must be one dumb, like seriously, you gotta be really, really ignorant. Seeing him go up through girl, through girl that either look like Queen or look like Parker. And you be the next Parker replacement and then you go get with him. Like, if a man is playing all these girls, doing all this ish, breaking up with a girl, going into a new relationship... There's obviously a problem there. You know what I'm saying? There's something wrong with this guy. He thinks he's in love with this girl, jumps into that relationship, finds a new for JJ, thinks he's in love with her. There's a problem there. You feel me? Like, girls, do better, man. Learn something from this. Like, you can't be that stupid. I don't feel sorry for none of these girls that go out with Chris and get played. It's like, well... Your dumb ass should have watched some videos and learned your man. You want to earn a man, you need to learn your man. And you can learn your man's d history by going through his YouTube. Going, okay, so who was he dating? Who was this? Let's go into the shade room. Oh, let's look up this man's history. What makes you think your vagina is made out of gold and he's going to change for you? If you look similar to the other girl and he's dating you, like, there's a problem there. I feel like I'm talking to brick walls, okay? These ladies are break walls at this point so what's the time what's the point of me wasting my breath and trying to educate your dumb ass don't take this as hate this is tough love love yourself have a proper relationship with yourself and you won't end up in the situation that you were in and you won't be hurt and you won't be complaining on social media case closed next case and hey guys, do you think Chris has really changed to be this humble person like he's telling everybody or do you think he's just a complete dog just like most of these boys out here okay look i don't really know who these team are i just wear it because it looked good okay because some of you guys be like martin why are you wearing that team and i'm like i don't know what team that is it just looked nice so i bought it you know what i'm saying